Let's go across now to the general manager of Uber India, Gagan Bhatia, is joining us on the newsroom this evening. Now, Gagan, there was this one horrific rape incident on an Uber taxi in December. Now, yet another Uber driver has been arrested in Gurgaon. Why are such incidents happening again and again uh, with a company that is otherwise doing as well as Uber is? So Rahul, uh, let me uh, reiterate, by, uh, start by reiterating that you know at Uber we take the safety of our passengers extremely seriously. In fact, that's one of the strong pillars on which we have built this company: the safety of our passengers. And uh, you know, even uh, since the December incident, we have actually gone ahead and implemented multiple checks and multiple processes in place to ensure and to prevent these kind of incidents do not happen and to ensure the safety of our passengers. We have actually gone ahead and verified the police verification of all the drivers on our platform. And then we went ahead and implemented app-based changes to, in, uh, to include features like SOS and send status. No, sir, so, no, Gagan, if you're saying that you've really improved safety. the security features on Uber taxis, then why couldn't, for example, the girl in the previous incident, in this incident, use some of these features to protect herself? Is it because consumers are not aware? Why is it that none of these safety measures kicked in when this girl was being harassed and molested by someone uh, while she was on a taxi drive? Mm -hmm. Uh, so let me, uh, you know, like uh, for this, uh, I'll answer it in two uh, parts. One, we, whenever we send out an email to our riders, a lot of we have focused on these features that we have implemented repeatedly. A lot of news articles have also covered these features that you know we have implemented in our app, and we continue to push these features to our entire rider base to ensure people are aware of this. Uh, in this case, you know, unfortunately, uh, the from what we understand, like you know, what happened, the girl probably did not feel as unsafe to press the uh, SOS button uh, till the very end of the ride or after the trip um, because we did not receive any SOS or send status notification during the trip and let me also I think it would be very helpful if we understand what has actually transpired in the last two days okay go on because we've got this complaint from the girl's uh, brother uh, who's saying that no action they Saying, you're saying you've put in place a series of measures. Take us through those, Gagan. Mm -hmm. So I'm aware of you know the complaints that have been raised through social media, and you know uh, so let me walk you through the entire you know the chain of incidents. So on Saturday, Sunday night around midnight, our response team received an email from this particular rider saying that the driver tried to kiss my hand. And within a few minutes, like within five minutes of receiving this complaint, our incidents response team reached out to the rider's phone and to understand what has actually happened. We have a very, we have a complete zero tolerance policy for such incidents. And we deactivated the driver and we started our investigation into the entire matter. We even reached out to her on Facebook in the post that you were talking about that we are trying to reach out to you, please call us back. And that's when we were able to talk to the rider and we assure, we are, heard her side of the story for the first time we assured her that we are here to help her and her concern no, so was that she wanted to uh, get no so gagan so no, no, you're you saying that you went out of your way to try and help her her brother is alleging the opposite yeah. now this is the second major high profile incident in less than six months so now I mean, when it can, comes to women you know, whether it's my wife at, or uh, my sister major... how do i feel safe putting them in an uber taxi again so th this is again, uh, you know, we have documented records into whatever we did, uh, whatever we did, uh, you know, in our efforts to reach out to the rider. In fact, if you go see the, uh, you s go see the messages and you go see the posts that we have made on Facebook, you will see that we were repeatedly trying to message saying we are trying to reach out. In fact, that's only when we were able to talk to the rider, but when we reached out on Facebook saying we are trying to reach out. And then uh, she, uh, we heard her side of the story, and immediately after that, we, uh, you know, again went to the cops, went to the police station. Within an hour of them actually receiving a formal complaint from the girl, we were able to provide them with all the necessary details about the driver, about his car registration, everything. And in no, so fact, what are you going to do now, Gagan? For the driver, uh, uh, obviously you've put in place certain mechanisms between December and now, but despite that, that in this yep. incident has happened. 
how are you going to improve things even it's further so that these things don't keep happening on an Uber taxi? Absolutely. And I wouldn't just say that they keep happening in an Uber car or you know, Uber ride. It's just that I think this is all about, you know, education and driver education and, you know, uh, making the riders aware of the features that we have put in our app and the measures that we have put in place to ensure such incidents do not occur. And in fact, we are in talks with uh, police departments across the country to set up police control uh, you know, screens where even the police can track the trips uh, whenever an SOS button is pressed. And so all these things are happening. We will continue to innovate in that, um, in that okay, direction. Okay, I'm going to leave it but over at the there. same time, you are right. You know, Gagan okay. Bhatia for joining us on the newsroom this evening. Thank you very much. All these measures sound good when they're talked about but what's important is when a woman is in distrust when a passenger is facing trouble can these measures come to her rescue that i think is the key challenge and that's where uber needs to deliver for the time being though Tarun Bhatia for joining us in the newsroom this evening thank you very much